Hi guys, Ronia from Phone Arena, and here we have the DJI Mavic Mini, which is the one of the smallest drones out in the market. And it's it's been quite a while since it's launched in the market. Uh, it came out last year, uh, but we finally got our hands on a unit uh, which sold in India, and we decided to bring an unboxing and uh, fly it around a little bit. Um, so this is, as you can see on the box, it says ultra light to 49 grams. So the new uh, regulations for drones uh, does not require a license uh, to fly if your drone is um under 250 grams so dji has planned uh it very well for that so they and this is not just the india but in the us the fcc regulations also prevent uh you to fly any drone which is greater than 250 grams without a license so the dgca also has a similar uh rule here so considering this is a 249 gram drone uh it's a really compact drone and i was kind of shocked and impressed uh, after I flew it out uh, around for a while. So this is the retail box it ships in and as you can see uh, you have the drone and the controller uh, and you also have uh, the some of the specs here on the box. As you can see here it's a 249 gram uh, ultralight uh, weight uh, drone uh, runs for about flies for about 30 minutes flying time and this is just the uh, Mavic Mini itself. Uh, so I didn't get we didn't get the combo so there's also another product which is the DJI Mavic Mini combo. Flymo combo which you in which you get a couple of other batteries the charger and also propeller guards and a carry case as well but for this one you only get the drone the controller uh, a set of spare blades uh, propellers and connecting cables for your phones so on the bottom you have some more uh, technical information uh, that it works with final cut pro x iMovie and it's made for iPhone and uh, this is uh, the specs on the back and what else so that's pretty much it guys so it can do about uh, 2.7k uh, quality video uh, whereas I managed to only record it with 1080p um, and I just did a quick flight uh, uh, here in uh, the city near the beach uh, and I was am amazed how stable the footage was considering it was pretty windy in the beach here. Yeah. So let's quickly open up the box and check out the contents. So you have the Mavic Mini itself over here and this is a super compact uh, drone it actually kind of can fit in your kind of trouser pockets if you're wearing like a baggy pants or something like that um if the, all the propellers fold away so the way this works is you kind of fold the um, blades on the top to the front and the blades uh on the back side backwards so this is how it works and as you can see you have the camera here uh, with the gimbal and it's pro uh, on a protective uh, shield here so you can it's packed with that you can actually kind of remove it here and you have the camera uh, over here and you also have the marking again on the drone that it's only 249 grams and you also have a type uh, like a micro usb port on the back uh, and also the memory card slot it takes in micro sd cards and you also have uh, lights leds here indicator sensors the power button and the way you turn it on is press it once and then long press it so let's do that again so if you, if you did see the drone the blades just uh, rotated and the uh, lights are on and the drone is actually on but you can't really fly it indoors because you need the GPS signal for controlling it so let's actually power it off you can see the LED lights are flickering and every color has a different kind of indication about the status of the drone so let's so you press it once and then do a long press and it should power off so let's put that aside And you also have the controller here. So this is the uh, the controller uh, for the drone, and uh, it goes by the model number MR1SS5. Um, it's got a 2600 mAh battery on the inside of the controller. The controller should last you f uh, fairly long. Uh, where uh, what people do recommend you charge the controller and the drone before you fly. 
and you actually kind of fold out this portion of the drone uh, controller and you get these uh, control sticks for the drone uh, i mean for the joystick so you kind of screw it in to this uh, slot here that's pretty much it it packs nice and neatly into this so you kind of lock it in place the antennas need to be folded towards pointed towards the drone uh, so that's that you have shortcuts over here for the i mean there's a power button here and you also have an auto land button and you have a record button and a photo capture button you also have a micro usb port for charging the uh, controller and also connecting to your device so you get a quick start guide and some more paperwork here and before that let's also see uh, the kind of cables you get here so you get a host of stuff so you get a spare set of uh, those joystick uh, pins here and you also get a spare set of forward and uh, reverse uh, propellers as well and you also get um, and you only get i think two one two three four yeah there are four propellers here in the back with screws for them as well you also get a screwdriver and you also get a set of three cables so you get a set of uh, three cables here so one is for type c another one is a micro usb and another one uh, is the lightning port so you get three cables in the box which is nice uh, uh we at dj include so you're using a slightly older phone which is on micro usb or an iphone or a new uh, phone which uses type c you can use you're going to be using the iphone so let's keep this aside so what you need to do here is you need to kind of use a phone sadly you can't use a phone with a case so you need to get your phone uh in case it's an iphone out of the case i'm going to be just getting out my iphone 11 pro here which is in a case i'm going to be getting it out of the case here and what you need to do is kind of slide it in in this socket here so you need to kind of you can most phones would fit i mean it's a very neat arrangement so you can fit most phones in here and it's pretty uh, decently set up yeah so then what you need to do is connect your uh, kind of cable to the controller and you also need to download the dji fly app as well so i'm going to be just powering this controller on so the same way you do it uh, press it once and then long press so it will power on and it is on um, so you have that beep so that means the controller is on and you have to connect your aircraft so you're going to be doing that as well so uh, your phone also is connected uh, to the um, so you need to go to so searching for aircraft now you're going to be connecting the drone here so let's power on the drone again one more time one press and then long press so the drone is connected we are getting a feed of the camera uh, from the uh, drone itself and uh, so that's what is visible here so that's going to be your uh, kind of controlling uh, pov or point of view so you kind of use this uh, phone screen and the app as your uh, kind of reference point for flying the device and you should always keep the various modes available in the app. It's a P mode, a sports mode, and also a cinematic mode as well. So, so that's pretty much it. So use the app to interact with the drone. Um, you can see the speed and everything while it's flying. So let's quickly walk you through the settings available as well. You can set the max altitude, max distance. Um, I told you about uh, return to home. So you can set the home point as well. Um, and you should be careful about flying the drone in case you live near an airport there are some restricted areas so you shouldn't be flying them there um, so it automatically picks your uh, gps and does show what uh, is the altitude you can fly in as well um, but uh, you can just see pretty much most of the uh, available uh, information in the uh, screen itself and you can take photos or record videos in 1080p um, let's probably um, go into the settings and uh, 
see that you can there's a given put in an sd card we just uh, took the footage out but you can kind of uh, uh, record footage uh, here you can change the channels you can see the firmware version and update your firmware and you can change the mode from say as any smooth mode position mode or smooth smooth mode sport mode or you can change the gimbal uh, to like various so it's super uh, so the controls right so the, it's in default and mode 2 so what mode 2 means is that you use uh, uh, just the up uh, for the uh, lift off I mean for the altitude the left left joystick the down for bringing the going down left and right that's standard and this uh, on the right side the joystick is used for uh, forward backward left and right movements so that's that so that's pretty much it guys so we managed to take the drone out for a quick spin and got some footage so you would see some footage captured on this dji mavic mini and that was a quick video of the uh, dji mavic mini it's selling for about roughly about thirty thousand uh, rupees in india right now So do check the drone regulations before you uh, kind of uh, fly this drone outside. Uh, you might require a permit or permission from your local authorities in case of flying it outdoors. Um, but if you're flying it within your own compound uh, or uh, within a, your own uh, like facilities, you don't need a permit. But if you're flying it outdoors, you might require a permit. Uh, despite it uh, saying that uh, it's only 249 grams so uh, make sure you check with the regulations and your local authorities before you fly this uh, drone and uh, make fly safe as well and uh, do enjoy the footage uh, we captured on this drone and uh, let us know the questions if you have any uh, questions about the DJI Mavic Mini and if you're using one or using a drone uh, would love to hear your thoughts as to what drone you're using and what footage have you captured so thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Varun from Phone Arena signing off and see you guys in the next video.